Good morning. Good afternoon. Welcome back to the show. This is the James Rule Crypto Show on YouTube. Be sure to follow me at Rule XRP on X, formerly Twitter. I'm a crypto teacher. None of this is financial advice. I'll tell you what, we got some news today. We got the Flare Network uh, with listings of commodities coming up. We have a Texas crypto company that's suing the SEC. We have a member of the SEC leaving the SEC after they sued Ripple and Coinbase, going to another law firm. And we're going to look at crypto numbers and we're going to have a good time. You know, I really enjoy creating these videos. I'm trying to get these videos out in the morning when you go to work, when you're at work, when you're at home, when you're waking up, drinking your coffee, when you're at the, you know, wherever you're at around the world, I figured the best time to release these videos are in the morning, uh, central time in Texas. And here next week, I'm having surgery, uh, outpatient surgery. It's going to put me out four to six weeks at work. So I'm going to be able to create more content, more videos. We're going to have fun. We're going to have a good time. Let's go ahead and check it out. Today's video is sponsored by Ellie Powell. If you want a fail safe cryptocurrency self custody wallet, check out the Ellie Powell link below. They offer the Ellie Powell Titan. 2.0. They have bundles. They have the Titan Mini, which holds the cryptos as well. Do your research. Tell them James Rule XRP sent you by. Keep your crypto safe. Let's take a look at the crypto numbers. Total market cap two trillion forty eight billion dollars. We're down a little bit today. We're up and down. Bitcoin's at 51,820. Ethereum is down to two thousand nine hundred sixty three dollars. XRP is at fifty four point eight. Cordano's at 59.7, HBAR's at 10.4, Stellar 11 cents, VeChain 4.3, Algo 18 cents. Do your research, do your research, do your research. I just tweeted this out a little while ago. I said BTFD. If you don't know what that means, I didn't get many likes, but BTFD means buy the effing dip. I repeat, buy the the effing dip, not financial advice. A lot of people out there complain when the prices go down. I see opportunities. I see massive adoption around the world with these digital assets, especially these use case digital assets that are going to change the world as far as payments and you know, accountability and accessibility and all of the above. All these different digital assets have different uh, descriptions, different possibilities of changing the world forever. Do your research. Let's take a look at some top news. Flare at Flare Networks. If you are not wrapping your Flare and Songbird, you're missing out because I use the Bifrost wallet. I wrap my Flare each month. I get the Flare drop, compound interest. Every few days I get... By delegating to the Flare Time Series Oracles, I get Flare, free Flare in my wallet, free Rap Flare in my wallet, free Rap Songbird in my wallet. Please do your research. Watch my video, probably five or six videos back. I'll show you how to wrap your Flare and Songbird in the Bifrost wallet. Here it is, introducing XDFI, world's first compliant decentralized futures protocol on the Flare Ecosystem KYC tokenization means no centralized entity involved. Flare time series Oracle driven futures market get to know at XDFI protocols launch plan. I'm going to follow them now. And we're going to take a look at the Oracle real quick at Flare. Flare.network. I'll leave a link to everything we cover today. Flare has announced a partnership with Cendric Solutions to launch XDFi, a new decentralized futures protocol created by Wall Street veterans. XDFi aims to raise industry standards for compliance and efficiency, delivering a trustless, non custodial futures contract purchasing environment that operates 24 7 people. 24 7 check it out i'm gonna look at this part that caught my eye it says with initial support for bitcoin and ethereum futures contracts the protocol will soon expand to other ftso enabled digital assets xrp doge etc as well as traditional commodities wti crude oil gold natural gas corn copper silver and other commodities on the flare network 
about Cendric Solutions. Get excited, people. Let me zoom in a little bit on this. Here we go. Cendric Solutions has spent quarter of a century building the world's largest trading engines for firms like Merrill Lynch, Fidelity, Goldman Sachs, and Morgan Stanley. A passion for blockchain and finance led the team towards enterprise-grade scalable solutions for brands and entities operating in the Web3 world. Cendric proudly joins the Flare ecosystem with the launch of XD5 protocol congratulations flare congratulations holders of flare and songbird and all the above check out the link below read a little bit more about it and check out the details let's keep going okay boom take that gary gensler sec a texas crypto company sues the sec for overreach on digital assets let's take a look at the reuters article it came out today february the 21st at 3 52 p.m central standard texas time you know here in the past several years after the sec sued ripple sued the xrp community all that the sec has been doing is called regulation by enforcement. That means they're making up the rules about crypto as they go, which is total bullshit. Here we go. A Texas cryptocurrency company and an industry group sued the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission on Wednesday, saying the regulator has overstepped its authority and asking a judge to rule that digital assets traded on exchanges are not securities. Fort Worth-based crypto company Legilex and lobbying group Crypto Freedom Alliance of Texas, or CFAT, claimed the SEC has asserted jurisdiction over the industry without a clear statutory mandate. Legilex says it seeks to run a cryptocurrency platform called Legit Exchange. The company formed last year said it plans to list digital assets, including those the SEC has deemed securities and lawsuits against Coinbase, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the U.S., and Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange Legilex wants the court to rule that listing pre-existing tokens will not violate securities laws quote we wish we were launching our business instead of filing a lawsuit but here we are Legilex co-founder Mike Wawajakak I'm sorry said in a statement a spokesperson for the SEC did not immediately reply to a request for comment. Both Coinbase and Binance have denied the SEC's allegations. CFAT asked the court to block the SEC from suing its members and said the agency's assertion of jurisdiction over digital assets has made it harder to convince Texas lawmakers to embrace sensible policies. Regulation by enforcement. XRP now has been deemed not a security. What about all the others? What about all the others that are traded on exchanges from one individual to the other not from company to company you're not investing in a company you're investing in a digital asset you don't know who you're purchasing these digital assets from on an exchange do your research crypto litigation unit leader leaves to join white and case she was also a member of the sec team engaged engaged in a protracted fight with the digital company payments company ripple over whether it's xrp token is an unregistered security bye bye i'm waving goodbye to her check it out it states that laden laden stewart a leader in the sec crypto unit that has been enmeshed in high profile court fights with the industry has left the agency to join white in case the firm said wednesday stewart an eight-year veteran of the securities and exchange commission's enforcement division since september 2022 headed the sec's crypto and cyber litigation unit the first ever specialized litigation department at the wall street regulator in the role she led actions such as last june's lawsuit against coinbase she was also a member of the sec engaged with ripple lawsuit so stewart who will be a partner in the firm's white collar defense group said in an interview that she plans to develop a crypto and cyber defense practice at white in case i'm not going to read the rest but bye bye is she leaving the sec because she knows that all of these major companies are starting to put the SEC in their place. Regulation by enforcement is not legal as far as I'm concerned. And things have to change. 
And things are going to change. And Gary Gensler is going to be out of office. And what's up with Hester Purse, you know, with the SEC? She's talking her talk. She's saying, I don't agree with the rest of the blah, blah, blah. Why can't she be commissioner of the SEC? You know, she had a safe harbor act here a few years ago that would give companies in the United States, blockchain companies, fintech companies, an opportunity to show who they are. And within a three-year period, if they were legit, they could go public or do whatever they want. You know, why did that get back down? But, you know, it's really exciting to see all this news and see great things happening. It's going to be a great week. It's going to be a great weekend. It's going to be a great week. It's going to be a great day today. Thank you for subscribing to the James Rule Crypto Show. My name is James Rule XRP. I'm a crypto teacher. And don't forget to subscribe. And guess what? I told you so.